I'm reading through, through my, my comments, comments this morning from the video that I posted yesterday. And it was a re-upload. And, um, you know, the whole point was talking about Christians not jumping to conclusions, not being reactionary about issues of the... Wait right there, you fucking bitch. And don't you dare think about flagging this video for copyright infringement. Fair use, bitch. You you struck me down with a copyright. I'll invoke the fair use against you. You fucking bitch. You a Christian? <laughs> uh, uh, maybe a Laodicean lukewarm Christian. With a nice ass car, nice ass house, nice ass friend. You, you shitloads of fans on fucking YouTube. Too good to talk to somebody like me. I tried to reach out to you. And what do you do? Because I'm not good looking. You blow me off. Is this the way, a Christian way for Christian women? I bet you if I had been a good looking guy, you'd have taken the time to talk to me, you fucking cunt. But guess what? Guess what? I'm pissed off at you, you stupid bitch. Why? I left an innocent comment saying you look nice. And what you did? What did you do? You jumped to the you jumped to conclusions. You're pointing the finger at Christians jumping to conclusions. But guess what, you fucking cunt? You got three figures pointing right pointing right back at you. Looking at you, look at your old fucking looking at your own fucking life. You you judge me to be a pervert because I said you look good. Well, fuck you too, you cunt. You know, I just noticed something. You look like you've aged about six years, six and seven years. Last time I saw you, which was about a year ago, you look young, like a college girl. Now you look like a, I don't know, middle-aged mother of two. Damn, did you get hit by the ugly, did you get hit by the ugly stick, you fucking cunt? I'm angry at you. How dare you accuse me of being a pervert? You jumped on my ass in the comments. Told me not to comment, talk to you again. Well, I'm going to talk to you again in the video face to face. I bet you too chicken shit to get into God. And if you're a Christian, you're not going to hate me. You're going to return good for evil. Unless you're a hypocrite and you don't really follow the teachings of Jesus. Jesus said, be kind to your enemies. Pray for them which persecute you. I bet you never said a fucking goddamn prayer to, about for me when you read that fucking comment and it jumped to conclusions like you're judging others for doing. Pointing the finger at people judge, jump, jumping to conclusions and you got three goddamn fingers pointing right back at you, goddamn slut ass. Yes, I'm calling you every name in the book. And if you are a true Christian, you'll have mercy. You, you, you show love, kindness and love to me by praying for me. And if you praying for me for good things to happen. If thy enemy be hungry, he uh, feed him. And in so do, and thou shalt heat coals of fire on his head. You know what that fucking means? That doesn't mean to eat coals of fire on his head so that he burns. It means give him coals of fire so he, he, he they used to carry baskets around in the cold. And they uh if they if you gave them coals of fire they could put them in the, the on top of the basket and keep warm. But that what do you expect from Christianity today in America? This lay out and see a lukewarm Christianity today. You, you know what Christianity needs today? Christianity needs to become a capital offense with Christians views as lower than child molesters. When Christians are the scum of mankind and Christians are seen as low and persecuted and killed and, and executed, then Jesus, was, when, when Christians like you get out of the way, you YouTube celebrities, exalting how good looking you are and look, lo loving those good looking Christian young men, when, when Christians are no longer seen as good looking and celebrities, then Jesus will shine out to the lost world and people will see Jesus and people will start getting saved. But all you YouTube celebrity Christians, you're getting, you're, you're eclipsing the light of Jesus. 
And it's no wonder this country is in such a, the church is in such a putrid, detestable, abominable, laughing, laughable state. The church today in America and the Christianity today is a wet noodle. And I'm pointing your fingers at my finger at you, and I got three fingers pointing right back at me because I'm not living the Christian life like I should. But I'm pissed off. I'm fighting doubts. I'm angry at God, so I don't give a fuck until I get some fucking answers. God fucking damn it, shit. I'm pissed off. I'm st I, I, I'm trying to, it's been over a year and a half. I'm still incensed and outraged and pissed off like a goddamn motherfucker. That just because I was not a good looking guy. You say, don't you come, a, you castigated me like a motherfucking redheaded stepchild. Like a fucking wet dog. I already got a man something like that. Couldn't even be said... Couldn't you have said just thank you, but I'm taken. And for the for your information, I don't. I, I didn't want you. I don't want to. I I'm single. I don't want a girlfriend. I don't want to be tied down. I want to be able to look uh, talk to any girl. I any any goddamn girl. I goddamn want to. Where I go any goddamn where I want to. I don't want to have to hold myself back because I uh, got baggage back at home and a girlfriend that which is a girlfriend. I don't have to worry about having a girlfriend who's going to someday grow old and I'm still wanting to notice the good looking young girls. Oh, you don't like it? I don't give a god fuck it. It's who I, you, you want to look at the good looking diet guys too, you, stu you stupid fucking cunt. Oh, uh, oh yes, I'm angry. You just don't know how I'm incensed that you would leave a fucking comment like that to me. And you never take the time to watch my fucking videos and figure out what and pay for me. Fuck you. And fuck American Christianity. If you're a representative, if you're what Christianity today is today, if I was not a Christian, I'd want, I'd want no fucking part of it. If if I didn't know Jesus and I, I all I knew about Christianity was what I saw in you and people like you, The church is putrid today. Calvinism and Calvinist churches with Christians fighting one another worse than they fight the world. Calvinism versus Armenianism. For example, and Christianity today is bullshit. And if God doesn't judge Christianity today, he'll owe Sodom and Gomorrah an apology. Because if God doesn't judge this church today, he just don't give a shit. It's, it's time that judgment will first begin at the house of the Lord. It's the church today it has no has no power. No prayers are not being answered. Miracles are not being worked. All we're getting is feel-good philosophy and theology that gives you the fuzzy wuzzies, but does absolutely, but does very little to change the way you live. So of course, Christianity today is a god fucking damn wet fucking noodle. God fucking damn it. God damn fuck. God dick shit mother dick. I'm the goddamn rag bitch slut fuck bitch. I'm angry. You just don't. You just don't. Know. I'm angry. It must be nice to think you are, it must be nice to have a lot of social media followers and think you're doing Jesus Christ a favor, favor when you're not sacrificing shit in your life. It must be nice <laughs> to be a Christian like Kenneth Copeland or Joel Osteen. <laughs> but if God is a just God, He's going to spit you out of his mouth, you lukewarm, you lukewarm bitch. <laughs>